Today we are installing Windows 7. This is the last step of, uh, you know, installing and building up a gaming computer is installing the operating system. Uh, so we're going to be doing that today. But first off, we actually need to make sure that the cables are in the back here for the uh, CD drive. I actually have the power in there, but the one thing I don't have is the SATA cable. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab a SATA cable and get this thing hooked in. Okay, I've got a nice SATA cable here. Let's go ahead and put it into the three and a half, not three and a half, three gigabyte per second port because I don't need SATA 3 for this, uh, for this particular instance. And now that is in, and we are in business. So let's get this thing booted up and let's uh, go ahead and start installing this operating system. Okay, we got it plugged in. We got the DVI in there and everything. Let's get the first boot going here, how, shall we? There it goes. Turned on. Processor fan on. Okay, now let's go to the monitor. Switch to DVI. CPU memory change, please set up configure system plus press one uh, F1 to set up. Okay, so I actually need to hook up a keyboard to this thing. I don't have a keyboard hooked up, so let me just take out this Apple keyboard, ironically, and uh, hook it into there. This is USB 2, correct? Yes, it is. So let's hit F1. There we go. And here we are in the BIOS, uh, also known as this really weird GUI, which they started using recently. Um, and apparently my mouse is hooked up. I, di I didn't know my mouse was hooked up. Oh, I see, because it has a hub. Sorry. Yeah, okay. I was about to hook up my mouse. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We want to install the operating system. It looks like all the RAM is being recognized up there. Let me show you that. I'll zoom in. All the RAM is being recognized. The processor is being recognized. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, so I guess we want to put the operating system into the disk drive now. So let's come over here. Tell me those lights don't look sexy. They're not amazing for a gaming computer, but they're pretty cool. So let's get the CD drive out. And let's find my, there it is, Windows 7. Let's open this up with one hand. And why does it look like the CD is upside down? It's probably because there's no any, oh, okay, it was upside down. Never mind, it is upside down. Put that in there. Windows 7 Professional, which is required for uh, 32 gigs of RAM, which is what I want to put in this machine. So now that that's in, let's see if anything happens. Maybe we'll click that. No, no, no. Yes, no. I might have to look up what to do, but uh, shouldn't take too long to figure out. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're all up and running. I got the operating system installed. You can see I got Windows 7 running here. Some of you guys might wonder why I'm installing Windows 7 and not 8. I honestly feel like 8's gonna be a little buggy. As you can see, I'm already installing some uh, games from Steam on here. Got some apps installed in there. And let me tell you something, this solid state drive, things are so snappy on the solid state drive. I mean, all of the files install instantly. I mean, like, the only thing slowing me down is my internet speed. I mean, I'm downloading Counter-Strike uh, Global Offensive right now. And, you know, the internet speed is definitely killing it, but uh, let me tell you, man, this thing is speedy when it comes to uh, good old installation speeds and loading up programs, anything from A to Z. It's amazing how fast this is. Let me show you the machine. It's down here. You can see this thing gives an amazing lens flare there. Uh, so you can see there the, the fan lighting up on top, the fan lighting up on the side. You can see some of the parts in there, hopefully. And this thing just looks sick. I think it's one of the coolest computers I've ever owned. And uh, I'm very excited to start using it. Unfortunately, I don't have the graphics card in here yet. So gaming isn't going to be exactly amazing. But to be utterly honest, I really don't care. I think the machine's going to be fine without the, uh, the uh, graphics card because it has very good integrated graphics, the Intel chip it has. So, um, and the uh, motherboard has great compatibility with that integrated graphics chip. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much the entire series just about getting to an end here. 
Uh, I will have more videos in the future. You may see them very soon. You may see them in a month or two, but probably by the end of 2012, this machine will be completely done in terms of what I want to do for now. And uh, this will be an ongoing series for the next 10 years, really, in reality, because I'm going to keep updating this machine. Uh, next step is basically, I'll probably have it in December or November. I'm going to be installing the graphics card, which is going to be a $450 graphics card, 670 FTW+. Plus. So it's pretty crazy. Um, I think it's going to be an awesome machine overall. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series thus far. In the future, you will be seeing me install the graphics card, maybe some more RAM, and some other cool things. That's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.